Good morning, this is Samantha, and I'm here today to share my experiences printing with um, scorpion filament. This is made by um, Black Magic 3D. And this is the box that it came in. This is a good cardboard box. Um, I didn't see a date on it in regards to when it was shipped, but let's see here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on it, but there was a, a batch ID on the filament. Um, which is good for traceability. Um, the filament was wrapped in this plastic bag. Unfortunately, it looks like the, the vacuum seal um, came off, but the filament was clean, had good integrity, um, wasn't dirty or anything. Um, I didn't notice any tangles. I appreciated the sticker on here that provided um, information on the temperature range that you should print with. It also came with this um, insert. Here. It's got a cool graphic about Scorpion um, and some suggestions on how to um, help printing. One thing that I appreciate in working with Exotics is when uh, the manufacturer is honest about the need for um, blue tape as well as um, uh, a glue stick. And it was nice that they went ahead and gave a um, recommendation on that. Did notice a couple typos um, on the sheet, but we're start, start up too. And if you've seen my emails, I um, can totally um, sympathize. So I'll go ahead and shoot them that feedback. Um, I, I did personally find when printing with this material that I was unable to print at the, the lower range, the 225 as opposed to the 235 degrees Celsius. Um, I, I really had to go ahead and bump it up to 230 and, and as I increased the temperature, as you'll see in a moment, I got better and better results. So I would recommend staying at, at that high end. Um, I did go ahead and take the print time down, um, as suggested. Um, and I went ahead and printed it at 60 degrees on the bed. I just didn't see optimum adhesion, um, particularly with larger flat pieces like this piece you see here um, without it. So that's a little bit about the settings that I used. I'll describe them in the blog. Here are the items that I printed. Our, our protocol's evolving as we do more and more prints. Um, I'm trying to back it up. I seem to be having issues recording today. Um, so the first, the first print that we've been printing per the protocol is our logo here. And what's nice about it is, you know, there's a few layers that build up, but it's also got a nice flat base. Um, again, I had to print this multiple times and ended up hanging out at the 60 degree um, Celsius end for the bed. And um, I printed around 230 in this final version of this, this logo um, for the hot end temperature. Um, I did have to put down blue tape. You don't see it down right now. I removed it. Um, I went ahead and used, as you can see hanging up here, this wide, wider blue tape. Um, and then I added uh, the Elmer's glue, washable glue stick they suggested on top of it. And I found after doing it a couple times, I actually had to do two layers. So I put a layer on, walk away for a minute or two, put a second layer of um, PVA glue stick on it, and that seemed to help. Um, on this print, there was curling, a little bit of curling on one end. And again, I, I think if I had gone up to 235 on this print, I would have been okay with a 60 degree bed. Um, the other thing I would suggest doing is once it gets done printing, go ahead and leave it on there and let the bed cool off naturally. Um, because the more that, you know, people in our office have been playing with this and handling it, um, and as it cooled, I noticed it tugged. And so now almost all the corners are a little bit curled, but only one was actually curled when printing. And the other thing you'll notice um, with this print is there's a little bit of stringing. I can clean this up so you probably would never know that it's there. And I might do that afterwards when we take it to um, demos, but let me zoom in here so you can see it. What we learned that that was attributed to is the retraction setting. So I actually had to go ahead and double that, um, which I'll put in the blog. And that allowed me on this third print here to then print a, actually a pretty good benchy. Um, I might add, we're noticing in our protocol now when we do benchy, you should probably add another top layer. Um, so I don't think that that's the material's fault. But I mean, considering this is a flexible material, um, it's an exotic being flexible and nylon, I think this is pretty awesome. Um, again, hanging out with the higher temperature range and the two layers of glue stick. We also were able to get a successful parameter print. This time you'll notice I um, made sure I printed it hollow and I did add, after printing with Make Shaper, another layer onto the bottom here. I'm speaking with Chief Hacker. And um, yeah, it's really durable. Um, you don't see any light coming through. It had really good adhesion between the layers. It's been handled quite a bit in the last couple days in our Houston office. I um, went ahead and actually printed a second one. So we have one for Houston and one for Austin. Um, so I, I'd go ahead, I'd. I doubled the retraction setting after printing this and seeing the the stringing on here because I knew it was going to be an issue on this benchy model and I got I got pretty good um, corners on it. Um, 
it ripped a little bit when I took it off the base. Um, so I might go ahead and print another one and correct that. But um, the orientation was good. It was nice and smooth on the end um, of the bow. So I would I would say that this filament is something you could print on Gigabot um, if you're mindful of the, the higher um, temperature range. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to the co-founders of the company. Um, they followed up with me and were um, really eager to see us be successful and extremely helpful. Um, they're good communicators and quick resp to respond to email. So um, from one startup evaluating another startup's um, product in the ecosystem, I would say it's a win. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. Have a great day.